So what exactly is GA4? How can you safely migrate your site and data to GA4? What are the pros and cons of using GA4 for your website? This video is a step-by-step -step tutorial for beginners to answer all these questions and more. Now, Google Analytics is a tool to help you understand how visitors interact with your website. And Universal Analytics or UA is the current version of this tool, while Google Analytics 4 or GA4 is the new version. Why do we need this new version? The base structure of UA was built years ago. And since then, people have started using new devices and the user behavior has been changing. Google created GA4 to keep up with these changes and provide more accurate and useful data to website owners. Differences between UA and GA4. So what's changed? There's four main things, but to make it easier to understand, just imagine that your website is a digital store and you have two assistants in your team, UA and GA4 that help you track and serve your customers. Number one, sessions focused versus user journey focused. Now the first thing is that UA was created when desktops were the main devices to browse the internet. So it uses a sessions focused method, which provides many valuable data points, but doesn't always give a complete picture of the user's journey. For example, if the same user visited your website from two separate devices, the UA assistant would count him as two separate users. But GA4 has a more user-focused method and it combines multiple data points to give you a holistic view of the entire user journey. This removes the flaws of the UA model, like GA4 can easily recognize if it's the same customer even if he logs in from multiple different devices. Number two, easier event tracking with new metrics. Secondly, in the older version, the UA assistant would tell you how many times a customer visited your store and how long they stayed. But with GA4, the assistant can tell you what the customer did in your store, like which products they look at, uh, if they added anything to their cart, or even if they completed a purchase. This event-based tracking gives you a deeper understanding of your customer's journey. Here are some of the new event metrics that have been created. To be fair, you could also do event tracking in UA, but it was difficult for beginners to set it up. Whereas in GA4, it's set up right out of the box. Number three, addition of machine learning. Thirdly, GA4 is unique because it can use machine learning to provide insights and predictions about your customer's behavior. This is like your assistant not only telling you what happened in your store, but also making educated guesses about what might happen in the future. For example, which customers are likely to make a purchase or which products are likely to be popular. It remains to be seen how accurate these predictions will be, but we are seeing AI improve at a rapid pace and it is possible that at some point this might become a game-changing feature. Number four, easier to set up and customize. Fourthly, UA was also complicated for non-technical people to set up and to track something new because they'd have to use custom codes, download URLs, and analyze a lot of data points. But GA4 is much easier for beginners to set up because event tracking and other important systems are set up right out of the box. For example, GA4 brought in a metric called engagement rate, which is a great way to calculate the value of user experience in your website's design in conversions because it calculates how many interactions users are making on a page by combining many different metrics, which wasn't possible before without using custom code. GA4 is also much easier to customize. For example, UA used to show total users and new users, whereas GA4 now shows active users, which is real-time data of how many people are engaged on the page right now. This was complicated to do with UA, but is easily available in GA4. Cons of GA4. Are there any cons of GA4? there are. Firstly, there's a learning curve of previous users of UA because the reports, the data analysis and the entire UI has changed. So new workflows will have to be built. Some users have concerns of losing or mismatching data during the migration. See, you can't migrate your old historical data from UA to GA4, you can only export it. And we haven't seen any loss of data since we started using it three months ago. It is possible that some mismatch can happen in some sites because of the tracking codes that they've been using. So we have to be really careful when we're doing parallel paste. Don't just directly remove the tracking code, change it parallelly one by one in all the pages so you don't lose orders or get errors. If you've got customized tracking code in your website, you can't just copy paste it. You'll have to write new code based on GA4, but people using GTAG can already migrate the site easily. Now, why should you switch to GA4? Well, Google has made it clear that GA4 is the future of Google Analytics. They're not adding any new features to the older version, and they're encouraging everyone to switch to GA4 because of the advanced features and simplicity. 
there's a deadline as well for the switch and then another deadline after which your data might not be available. So switching is the way to go. I need to share one very important thing with you. I'm guessing SEO is important for you and you want your site to rank on top of Google and get lots of visitors. But we both know that all of them will just bounce off it if your site is too slow to load. Let me bust a myth right now. The reality is that most speed plugins in the market are either expensive or complicated or just ineffective. We've built successful WordPress plugins before and seeing this issue, we built a free plugin called Airlift, which makes any website three times faster within just one minute. Let me show you how. This is my test website. Let me copy its URL and check its page speed score. You can see it's very low. Now I'll just paste the same website URL in Airlift and click here. It's automatically doing all the optimizations needed and now you can see a huge jump in speed. It's totally free and you can visit this website and click here to install it. Sign up, download the plugin, then upload it to your site and you can use it now. Now watch this video next if you want to be shocked and watch this video if you want to migrate to GA4.